Hey there, my name's Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm gonna show you a little bit of advanced routing on the XLive card. If you're brand new to my channel, I am all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear, no matter where you're starting from. Now, in my last video, I showed you how to get the XLive card working with a virtual sound check. And we want to take that virtual sound check that we recorded, and I wanna play back the click and the bass guitar because I'm gonna have my band up on stage play back to this recording as if it was a service, but our bass guitarist got sick. So what we're gonna do is we're going to utilize user routing and play back from the XLive card to be able to do this in a more advanced routing for say a service where your bass guitarist was unfortunately unable to make it. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to set up our routing using the user routing. Now, I've made a couple of videos on this before, so I'm just gonna rush through this. What we need to do is we need to go and hit our routing button, go to inputs, and we want to have user in one through 32. Now, this means that we can go and select one-to-one -one patching on any of our channels using the user in. Additionally, we want to go and copy this over on our card. So if we do happen to go and record, we want to have those channels going to the recording as well. So user in one through 32. Now, once we have that set, we're going to page select all the way over until we get to user. And we can select between our inputs and our outputs by pressing this button. And so we want to be on inputs and we want to have our user in one through 32 selected on where we normally have our inputs coming from. So if, for instance, if I am using the XLR inputs on the back of this console, I'm going to be using local on one through 32. If I'm using a stage box, say a DL32 that's coming in on my AES50A port, I'm going to go and select all of these one through 32 coming from my AES50A port. But in this case, I have all my inputs coming into the local of this console, except I want to play back a few channels from my card. And those two channels that I wanna play back is the metronome so that the band knows what they're playing to and the bass channel because we need to have the bassist playing in our mix because he is not present at the show. So the two places that I have those set is channel six is my bass guitar. So I'm going to go and find input six and I'm gonna have this coming from card in six. And I'm just going to assign it like that. So now when we press play on the XLive card, it's going to play the bass guitar back into this channel. And then the rest of my channels are going to be live from the stage. The other thing that we need to set is our click track, which is coming on channel 27. So we're gonna rotate this all the way down until we get to input 27. And we are going to select that card in 27. And we're gonna press assign. The next thing that we need to do is we need to go over to setup and go over to our card tab, and we need to go to the second layer, as we need to change the channel routing from automatic to only on the recording. So this means that when we press play on the card, if this is set to automatic, it's going to automatically change our routing that we have set in the routing page. So I know that I want it to not change that, so I'm going to have this on the channel routing of recording. So that means that when I press play on this card, it's not going to change any of my input routing on these blocks. So now what we can do is we can actually go back to layer one and we can press play. And so now we can see that I have my click channel playing and my bass guitar playing. So I can turn up my bass here. We can hear him playing. So this is now set so that your band can play along to this recording of the bass guitar and the click track, and you can be mixing them as if they were live on stage. But now your band is hearing these, and so they can play along with it as well so you can mix your show without having your bass guitarist there. So one thing to keep a note on when doing this is we won't be able to record to the SD card when we're playing back from it. So when we press play, we're unable to record to that same card. However, the XLive has two 
recorders. It has the USB connection that we can actually plug into a laptop, and it also has the SD card, which means that we can play back from the SD card and record to the laptop at the same time. So this means that when I'm playing back, I have my click track and my bass guitar as if they are on stage playing. I have my live stage inputs on stage, and I have those two things happening at the same time. My USB connection on the back of the expansion card is going to my laptop and recording all 32 channels, including this bass guitar that's playing back from the SD card and the click track that's playing back from the SD card. So this is super beneficial for us. And that brings me to the conclusion of this video. So if you do happen to have any other questions that you want me to make a video on, feel free to post them in the comment section below as I'm always looking through those to find ideas for new videos to make in the future. If any of these videos have been super helpful for you, consider becoming a member of my channel as that's a way for you to give back to me making all of these videos for you guys for free as that is a way to help support me and this channel and I really do appreciate those of you who do support me in that way. If you haven't already, check out my website at drewbrashler.com. Otherwise, have a great day.